I mean, look at this. If you take a hike here, you're gonna go home with some fantastic photos that you're gonna bore the neighbors with forever, but they're gonna be special to you. I have always looked up to my dad. It felt like he always had the answers. Well, Zions National Park is just like that. You're in the valley, you're looking up, feels like they know something and they wanna share it with you. When I was 14, I went on a hike with my dad that was so beautiful. The most important part of that hike though is that I was with my dad. That was the time he would take to encourage me. He would tell me I could do it. And I would dig deep down inside and I'd go, I can do it, I can make it. Well, that's what we're gonna do while we're here. We're gonna take all those memories when you were a kid and you caught your first fish, and we're gonna put it in a painting so that you can relive those great stories and tell them to your kids. 17 years ago, we were here with my kids and they were young and my youngest daughter was in the Jeep. Mm -hmm. Turned around, she's screaming because there's a deer halfway in the Jeep. And how old was she? Two. Two? Two and a half years <laughs> old. And, I mean, as close as you and I oh. are right now. And how intimidating is a deer? Well, at two years old, that far away, it might as well have been a bear. He had his whole front of the body in the, trying to sniff her. So she doesn't like the deer. You know what, that's a totally different story. You know, we saw a deer, it scared us to death. The first person to homestead this area was Isaac Behuna. He built a cabin near present-day Zion Canyon Lodge in 1863. He is credited with calling the area Zion, the Hebrew word for refuge or sanctuary. John Wesley Powell, in part of his exploration of the entire West, came through here around 1872. As he often did, he used his understanding of the Paiute language to name the area Mukuntuwanaweep. He named it Munkantuweep, and I'm sure that's exactly how it's pronounced. World-renowned artist Frederick S. Dallenbaugh, who first came to Zion as part of Powell's company, returned a few years later to paint its majesty for all the world to see. His work was featured at the 1904 World's Fair and got people excited about this desert landscape. They saw these cliffs and realized, wow, there was no other place like it in the world. They brought design to see it for themselves. What do you do when a bear is chasing you? Depends what kind. Well, it depends on the bear. Everybody says that. I don't yeah. think it matters. A mean bear, I don't know. Black bear, Black you bear. stand your ground and yeah. act like a Big, so you try to act big? big? Try to yeah. act big. If it's a black bear, you, you make a lot of noise and you chase back. And... Maybe fight him off? Now he can fight him off. I'm running. I'm <laughs> running as fast as I can. If it's a grizzly bear, then you just got to be the fastest one. See, right. that, uh, that's what I say. Now they tell you, play, now, play dead. Here he comes. Just, Lay down on the plate. Put honey all over you. <laughs> <laughs> what are your memories? And what are the stories that you can't wait to tell when you go home? On the way up here today, I saw a buffalo, and I was able to reach out and touch a cactus. Yes, it hurt. And a lizard scampered by, and it brought back when I was a kid, and we used to chase them around. Make sure you bring your deep woods off, because unless you love mosquitoes, they're everywhere. I don't care what you do. Before we end, does, does anybody know what to do for a snake bite? This is how you sharpen a pencil in the mountains. I think the reason why we take so many pictures is because the great temptation is you see something really cool and you gotta take a picture. And then two minutes later, another cool picture. And every angle, something is coming alive before your eyes. These parks have been protected as a gift to us. So when we say God bless America, He has. I mean, look around us. This is all for our enjoyment. We are truly blessed. I take my kids. We go hiking. We love to talk while we're hiking, and that's how I get to know them, what they like to do, what they want to be when they grow up. All of that comes out when I spend time with them in the great outdoors. Coming here to the park has made me love and appreciate my father even more. Because like Zions, he's somebody I can truly look up to because that is Zion's National Park.
get older, you don't do as many stupid things. Or so I was told. Man, it's got like a barb in it and it hooks out. Don't let it fool you, it really is a cactus. When you climb inside the tent and get in your sleeping bag, there's that moment when you feel like you're just creating a snack for the bears. There's no evidence that this was the Paiute name for the area. Oh, so let's say it anyway. <laughs> time you went off the beaten path and you just started wandering around you stood to film in the middle of an anthill and they were starting to gnaw all over your legs that was fun go <laughs> oh my are we almost done with the selfie sticks or just selfies in general and think about it we came this close to the turkey being our national bird oh, we did yeah that was benjamin franklin's idea oh. <laughs> I had turkeys on my farm, so I know the mating call. The convergence of these various geographic regions creates an area of great diversity and flora and fauna. Can you say flora and fauna? Because they're two twins you dated in high school and you took them to prom and had a good time. Although, they wouldn't kiss you because you were as ugly as can be. But flora and fauna run around here all the time. <laughs>